right, this is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 8, and we're going to be doing a little bit of dabbling with the order of operations, um, but very, very uh, basic, uh, because really what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be using just the concept of parentheses, and that the parentheses can be used to change the order in which we solve the problem, and it changes the answer. Uh, it gives us a different answer depending on where the parentheses live. So first let's do some practicing with the parentheses themselves. So the idea of the parentheses is do what is inside the parentheses first. So because we see parentheses right here, that's saying we need to do 6 plus 3 first. So that's 9. So then the problem becomes 9 minus 9, which is 0. Similarly, uh, we've got parentheses right here, so that's 4 plus 2 is 6. And now we have 14 minus 6, which is 8. Here we've got 4 plus 3 is 7, and 7 times 6 is 42. Remember, if students don't remember that, they can either do 6, 7 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yep. And then I like to do my 5s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 times 6 is 30. 2 times 6 is 12. And 30 plus 12 gives us 42. And then, last one, 18 divided by 3 is 6, and then 6 plus 6 is 12. So the idea of parentheses kind of push us around, and parentheses tell us which part of the problem to do first. So now you can see, uh, well, no, actually this one isn't quite it yet. Uh, so it says place the parentheses in the equation below so that you solve the solve by finding the difference between 28 and 3. So we're supposed to put in parentheses. So this equation right here, expression, is missing uh, some parentheses. So let's put them in. So I'm going to start by going way over here. 4 times 7 minus 3, and I'm going to do 4 times 7 minus 3, because I have a couple of choices about where I can put the parentheses. I could put the parentheses there around the 4 times 7, or I could put the parentheses here around the 7 minus 3. When I put them around the 4 times 7, I get 28. 28 minus 3 is 25. Hey, that's exactly what they wanted me to do. Where would I have to put the parentheses so that I end up with 28 minus 3, the difference between 28 and 3? And so that's this answer right here. So we've got the answer. So technically we're done. But let's move on and let's practice and see what happens over here. So the parentheses around the 7 minus 3 tells me that 7 minus 3 is 4. And now I have 4 times 4, which is equal to 16. Now that's the really important cool thing about this uh, lesson, is we want students to see that, uh-oh, if you put the parentheses in one location, you get one answer. But when you put the parentheses in a different location, you get a totally different answer altogether. And uh, so that's a really important part to this lesson. And I'm going to squeeze in the answer right here, which is the parentheses need to go around the 4 times 7. And the last video, or last uh, problem for this video it says, Johnny says that the answer to 2 times 6 divided by 3 is equal to 4 no matter where the parentheses are. Well, we just learned that usually it matters where the parentheses are, because if you put the parentheses in a different location, you're going to get a different answer. Now, Johnny is saying, wait a second, I found an example where it doesn't give you a different answer. Well, let's see if we agree, because we're supposed to see if we agree. Well, let's put parentheses right here, and then let's put parentheses right here. Here's our two choices. Now let's do it. So 2, two times 6 right here is equal to 12, and then 12 divided by 3 
is equal to 4. Now over here, we've got 6 divided by 3 that we're supposed to do first. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then 2 times 2 is 4. Hey, look at that. Woohoo! Turns out they're the same answer. That's a major, major, major coincidence. And that's what's so cool about this problem is this problem, coincidentally, uh, you get the same answer, in this case, 4, no matter where you put the parentheses. If you put the parentheses around the 2 and the 6, or if you put the parentheses around the 6 and the 3. And that's Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 8, uh, using parentheses to get different answers and to alter the, how the problem is solved. It's kind of a, a sneak peek at the order of operations.